What's up guys, anti-vaccine demonstration in downtown Kingston. Mm-hmm. An anti-vaccine protest was held on Wednesday, September 23rd in downtown Kingston, Jamaica. The demonstration was organized by Jamaica's third political party, the United Independence Congress, UIC. We're not anti-vax or pro-vax. We're pro-choice. We're here to defend the rights and freedom of all Jamaicans, including the police who has assaulted me. This is President of the United Independent Congress, Joseph Patterson. It was said in the media since last week that he was planning to lead a march on Gordon House to push for the resignation of all 63 members of the House of Representatives. Joseph has been organizing marches dubbed the War for Liberty across sections of the country, the first of which took place on Independence Day. He said the march that took place yesterday, Wednesday, September 22nd, is to press for the resignation of Prime Minister Andrew Olness and to transmit the message that Jamaicans will not tolerate any more lockdowns or accept a vaccine mandate. He said and I quote, We are hoping we can open the eyes of Jamaicans to realize that not only is their freedom at risk, but also their lives, because we don't have a transparent government that will let us know exactly what is being injected in ourselves and children. There has been an effort to silence persons who have anything to say about this vaccine or are not in agreement of some of the things that the PM says. This creates concern and the fact that there are inconsistencies with the science is another reason for concern. We are moving from this vaccine will help you to going back to normal to the point where it will keep you from not being terribly sick and die. End quote. Scores of persons, both masked and maskless, gathered at the War Theatre for the planned march to Parliament at Garden House. Prior to the start of the march, the protesters were asked by the police to disperse as the march did not receive a permit. However, Joseph stressed that citizens do not need a permit to walk in their country. Several anti-COVID-19 vaccine protesters were arrested including the president, Joseph Patterson. The police say he has been arrested for the breach of the Public Order Act for staging a march without first obtaining a permit. He was later released on bail. This protest was after Prime Minister Andrew Olness implied that the government does not want to make COVID-19 vaccine mandatory. However, in the future, when public education has been exhausted, it may be the only option, as what is now the case in Antigua and Bermuda, where a mandatory vaccination policy will be implemented as of October 1st. As the planned protests went on, arrests were taking place. Hundreds of supporters still marched to North Parade onto Church Street, then onto Charles Street, but they were intercepted by the police at Duke Street before they could reach their destination. Gordon House. Human rights advocate Kaba said and I quote, In terms of mandatory, we say no. We must understand that there is no obvious benefits of taking the vaccine. No obvious benefits. It does not prevent you from getting COVID. It does not prevent you from sending out COVID or contracting COVID and spreading it. Yet still, you want to make it mandatory. We stand as a united force, not affiliated with any party, not affiliated with any organization apart from the human organization, saying to the government, we do not stand for mandatory vaccination of this population. End quote. The organizer of the protest is charged for breaches of the Disaster Risk Management Act, the Public Order Act, and resisting arrest. However, his lawyer, Gavin Stewart, said, and I quote, My client firmly rejects any notion of illegality. My client instead asserted that he was going about his lawful business in relation to his duties, end quote. 